it is a topic we hear about more and more as so many of us in today's tech-savvy world work with iPads and smartphones. The issue of cybersecurity. Well, now a local university is taking a new approach to educating students and creating awareness when it comes to protecting information online. WMTW News 8's Katie Thompson is live in Portland to explain. Steve, from Hannaford to Target and most recently Otto's Pizza, cybersecurity breaches really are all around us. We're here at the University of Southern Maine where inside the walls of this science building is a brand new million dollar cybersecurity research lab designed to specifically study how to keep our technology and the information inside of it safe. Samuel Barton is a sophomore studying computer science at the University of Southern Maine. Today, he's working on a sensor project, attempting to make a full scale operating system work on a microcomputer. Right now, I'm doing a bunch of compiling, which is taking source code and making binary files out of it. It may sound confusing, but its purpose is plain and simple cybersecurity, two words we all recognize, especially when they're followed by the word breach. With hacking, it's a matter of looking for an opening, an opportunity, something that's wrong with something that's developed, and then going in. The university unveiling its brand new cybersecurity lab today. Here, students are learning to combat hackers and prevent data breaches in a controlled network. We can, for example, release a virus in here. Let it loose, let it uh, run rampant on the machines, because they're not production machines, and see how it spreads. The students study what a given virus does and how it spreads. They'll also gain experience trying to make it go away. Ordinary programmers and other people within IT departments need cybersecurity experience so that they don't, you don't have the mistakes that lead to the breach. And as much as this lab will be used for education, it will also serve as a liaison to universities, small businesses, and governments throughout the state. To either educate small business owners enough so that they know how to protect themselves or let them know that if it's too much for you, we give them other resources so that they know where to turn to get the help. Now, I asked the lab's technical director whether he thought the United States was lagging behind other countries as far as our knowledge of cybersecurity. He said it's not that we or any other country are lagging behind. He feels that nobody really knows how to do it right yet. This building could change that. Live in Portland, Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.